Hi friends, we are now in episode number 10 of our production control series. So if you are watching this video for the first time, my name is Sriram Sivashankaran and I have been posting videos, articles and documents related to Dynamics 365 F&O. And uh, right now we are in our production control series. Uh, previously, we've also made a series regarding uh, various management and advanced various management functionalities in D365. If you want, please do check out the same. Right. So in this episode number 10, this is going to be a very quick video. Uh, I know you have been watching the videos. If some, if you are following the uh, episodes uh, which I have posted in the last uh, few days, I know most of them are more than 15, 20 minutes, but I'll try to keep this particular episode for less than five to seven minutes. Fine. So in this episode number 10, um, already we have talked a lot about the production costing in our previous episode, um, but in this episode we will quickly understand about the production order analysis and what are, what is the um, way we need to do it, um, how we can quickly identify what are all the uh, what are all the orders which needs attention. Um, if if you are working as a production order production manager or, uh, or if you are working in an implementation project for a uh, for implementing a production cycle, so what are all the frameworks which we have? That's what we are going to quickly see here, and uh, so the agenda is going to be primarily looking at the production order menu items, and there is a workspace called production floor workspace which is, will be very helpful in order to manage your complete production order uh, production floor production floor management so so i will also go through this and also i will also go through touch upon the can chart viewing which will highly helpful in order to understand quickly a pictorial representation of what process need to be completed and when it will be completed right so let's get into the system so first of all let, like i said uh, we need to understand about the production order menu items so we already discussed about all production order menu item where you can quickly get a view about the list of all the production orders which are generated and also we discussed about some of the functionalities which are available over here right so like estimate uh, and also we we saw how to use uh, manage cost section in order to view the calculation details we also saw to use uh, the view section to view the picking list, posted a uh, uh, road court journals, all those. So, so production order is the first menu item. A second menu item is the planned production order. So currently we have not touched upon the functionalities related to planned production order uh, because uh, this is something which we need to cover it up in the master planning series. So that's why I just left it out. So planned production orders, uh, whatever the planned batch orders and the production orders which we have, all these are listed out in this uh, uh, page. You can directly view it over here and then you can firm it and uh, you can proceed and the one, all the firmed planned production orders will be available in the production order page. And then you may have delay, you may, if you want to see the delayed production order, so when you do the analysis and want to act, bring in absolute control, so you may not know which production order is uh, is overshooting the delivery date right so in the in those cases by default d365 has filtered the um, delivery section I, I will just show you what is the formula applied here so if the delivery date is less than the current date which is current date is today's date or uh, the delivery date is less than the scheduled end date of the production or uh, if the delivery date is less than the finished date so basically what it means is wherever the delivery date is overshooting the current date or uh, finished date or a scheduled end date those are filtered and it is displayed over here so you can quickly get an understanding about what are the production orders for which uh, priority need to be given and uh, so that the production manager can uh, quickly do analysis and then uh, take an appropriate action for the same so this uh, one will be highly helpful when you want to know only the delayed production orders and batch jobs and production schedules, we are not talking about it right now. Uh, even if you want, you can look at it. Whatever the scheduled production orders, uh, it is filtered based on the status. The scheduled production orders will be available over here. But uh, anyway, we will not talk about that right now. And uh, the other menu items are uh, self-explanatory. The production started and the production released. So whatever the production orders which are in the status started and released or filtered and uh, is showed over here. Uh, so it is just for quick access to all the production orders whichever is started and released so if you want you can use these two menu items right and then uh, you also have deferred production order posting but uh, this deferred production order posting is a menu item where you can quickly view um, i would say whatever the production orders uh, which are deferred for posting like uh, I, I don't know whether that is a record available here uh, 
but this is also probably when we yeah discussing when we are getting into the discussion of master planning probably at that time we may uh, discuss about this so that it makes absolute sense so these are the menu items which i probably want to touch upon and then um, the other important point which i have mentioned over here is the production floor workspace which is very important as far as if you want to do any analysis of your um, production floor management so this is under workspace you have a, this option called production floor management just click on production floor management so this will quickly give you a perspective of how what is the progress on the production orders uh, so th this shows the jobs to complete so that you can quickly understand who is the um, i think the status along with the uh, i think the picture is also coming over here but that's fine along with the order um, you can view what is the operation because it shows the operation which is pending to be completed and what is the product number and the quantity and what is the actual resource uh, i think this resource can be a machine or a, um, or a vendor or a human resource whatever it may be so you can you will be able to view the operations only over here um, so you can also see what is the total number of jobs pending for in this case uh, this is specific to a uh, production unit yeah correct this is specific to a production unit 120 so likewise if you want you can also assign a production unit i'll just uh, duplicate this tab um, so you can assign a production unit in your resource group mm, so if i go to our resource group which we created production control um, setup resource resource group so there you need to make sure that you assign a production unit and uh, because this this particular workspace is works based on the production unit that is basically assigned to the resource group or the resources you can assign this in your resource also so this is the production unit uh, for site 2 and the input varrows is 21 so specific to this varrows you will be able to view it so now if i go back to production floor management workspace so here i can configure my workspace i can select the yeah this is the fabric unit production unit uh, so let me click on ok okay so now uh, this workspace quickly tell us that uh, we have uh, two three jobs which have not yet started and uh, three jobs which are actually stopped uh, so we, we need to understand why these were stopped in our uh, um, floor so here also it shows what are the quickly the what are the operations which are pending jobs to complete these are the jobs which need to be completed so as a production manager i can quickly go and check the uh, check the jobs which need to be complete and then i can also view the progress uh, if that is uh, complete or until unless it is completed you can view the process what is a good quantity and what is error quantity so this acts as a quick workspace to help you understand how and control the processes and here you can view the jobs with deviation uh, so what is the hours which is supposed to be and what the consumption what is the percentage if it is deviating whatever it is deviating you can view it all you need to do is uh, every time when you come to this page click on calculate to recalculate the uh, figures right so and then uh, contacts this, this is fine the contacts and team is basically where you want to add the quick contacts and references so but uh, jobs to complete the uh, jobs to jobs with deviation will help you to quickly control the uh, production flow also you can uh, view in this case i don't find any production orders to release um, and uh, unreleased material lines needing attention so these are these are null over the uh, production unit because very very recently we added this uh, fg shirt in the resource group so i just created a couple of uh, uh, new production orders to in order to show you but otherwise uh, once uh, if there are any pending um, let me show you i just created a few production orders in order to i just created a few production orders for this fg shirt i want to show you this example but if i open any of the existing production units uh, i think we may have some records to show you so production orders to release just simply clicking on the tile will take you to the, those specific production records so that you can quickly take an appropriate action for the same right and uh, also you can view it can chart um, so if i go back to the production unit this is the fabric production unit which we created so i'll click on ok and then uh, you are also having some quick links over here you can also make use of these quick links which are available over here uh, 
if, if you click on this gyan chart it just gives you a quick uh, display of what is the progress like uh, like say see you will be able to quickly understand because this is the working calendar which we have configured in our calendars and working time session if you remember so 9 am to uh, 5 pm so but here uh, i can also 6 pm sorry uh, so here i you can see when the when it is expected to start uh, the cutting and then sewing and packing when it is expected to finish so it just quickly gives me an idea about along with the timings of the process right so so that i should be able to plan my resources uh, as a production manager i will be able to plan my resources accordingly using the gan chart so that's it for this episode uh, make sure that you uh, start using these workspaces also i would like to touch upon one more workspace which is available in the home page which is uh, yeah you can also use product readiness for discrete manufacturing so i'm not touching upon process manufacturing so here you will get a quick idea about uh, um, if there are any missing active bomb motions or uh, route versions for the item or uh, if the bomb motion is about to expire or route version is about to expire then you can quickly understand those by looking at this particular uh, page and also from here you can quickly create a new bomb or new route uh, looking at this if you want to modify existing or if you want to create and these tiles are self-explanatory i don't need to explain these so uh, so all these tiles uh, you can quickly access and get to the specific records so this is also one of the important workspace which you should be aware of in order to do any analysis even from, from production floor management you can also configure based on your uh, requirement for production units on from this page you can quickly create a production order or a batch order uh, anyway from this page you can create a production order if required right and make sure that the appropriate date is also selected which is very important so that brings us to the end of this video uh, so in the next episode we will quickly cover uh, the topic of subcontracting process and uh, in episode number 12 also we will be talking covering the topic of subcontracting process and uh, hope to see you in that interesting topic thank you